Hey, Captain. Ah, Tata, how are you? I'm doing fine. And oh, is that a new painting? Oh uh, yes, uh, yes. Is that is that you? No, oh, that's my ancestor, the Sir Francis of Haddock. Oh. He was a captain in the Royal Navy under Louis the Fourteenth. Oh. But how do you how do you get hold of the painting? <laughs> that my boy, I painted it myself. <laughs> but it looks so so old. Ah, the secret is in the coffee. The coffee? <laughs> Come. I'll tell you the secret. Hi guys, I've already professed my love for the adventures of Tintin here, but I don't think I mentioned uh, the obsession I have for the portrait of Sir Francis of Haddock, uh, the ancestor of the Captain Archibald Haddock. I always wanted to make a replica of it, but if possible, a realistic one. Something that, I, that could have existed in real life. An antique painting from the 18th century that would have been passed down from generation to generation. I do a cosplay of the good captain and of course I wanted the ancestor to look something like uh, me. So we took a few pictures and uh, I made a rough mock-up uh, on the computer and then printed it full scale. The idea was not to have a very precise image uh, because in a way I would paint and change uh, the, the detail eventually. I used carbon paper to report it on the canvas uh, some people might think it's a kind of cheating and, well, I admit it certainly makes the job easier. Now, does it really make everyone paint like Leonardo da Vinci? No, of course not. Uh, it's a good tool, but uh, you still need to know how to paint, uh, obviously. So, the painting of the portrait is, well, quite, quite regular. Uh, I always had in mind that it would be a kind of caricature because it comes from a comic. Uh, the, the facial expression are usually a bit more dull uh, in those ancient paintings uh, because the model would have been unable to sustain uh, uh, to hold their smile uh, for, for so long. Um, I also wanted it to be as historically accurate as possible. Uh, Hergé, the creator of Tintin, uh, did a wonderful homework there. Uh, because it happens that portraits of captains from that uh, era are very much like this one uh, with the, the, the ship in the background and everything and uh, uh, the, 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 the costume, uh, the, the formal costume and, and etc. etc. For this kind of portrait, uh, I would advise to be as realistic as possible. Uh, every detail counts and uh, you can sometimes achieve a better uh, color or better uh, depth uh, in, your, in your painting uh, by uh, using different layers of, uh, of paint. Uh, don't hesitate to make a thick painting, uh, having said that, uh, because well, it was the fashion at the time.
Once you are done, the colors uh, should be bright, a bit too bright for an uh, uh, antique painting. So the first step is to cover uh, your whole painting with a strong coffee, an espresso or, or something uh, like that. You can let it dry to have something a bit uh, darker or absorb some of it with a paper towel to have some uh, botches of, uh, of uh, brown uh, here and there. It depends on the uh, effect you want to achieve. When the coffee is dry, you spread a layer of crackling medium. It's easy to find and I've heard you can also use a Modge Podge or PVA glue. But please do some tests before because I'm not, I'm not too sure about that. Finally, a nice and heavy coat of uh, water-based varnish uh, that will uh, crack and give your painting a kind of battered look, the scars of an object that went through the edges. And there you go, you can use this technique to basically edge any painting. I will show you here a Mona Lisa and the girl with the pearl earring. So I hope you'll have fun with this technique and I see you soon. Cheers guys! How are you? I'm good. You? Oh, yeah, fine, thank you. You forgot what you were about to say. No. Get <laughs> the big thing. You said, How are you? Huh? You said, How are you? I was just answering. Then you say, Yeah, good. Oh, is it a new thing? <laughs> okay. Is that, is that you? No, that's my ancestor. The. <laughs> Some fancy, some apple. By the way. <laughs> <laughs>